Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. We are talking about one of the Paul brothers this week. Every once in a while, they pop back up onto my Twitter trending page, which I appreciate because I don't really keep a pulse on like that age of YouTubers. I think that was sort of like my demographic as I was growing up, but I was never really an internet kid and I didn't watch YouTube. So I knew that they were around, but I wasn't like engaged. Logan Paul got himself into some hot water apparently this week when the internet was told that he abused and abandoned his pet pig. But before we get into the story, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you've not already. And of course, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock video. I never thought that those are words that would come out of my mouth. I did not even know that Logan Ball had a pet pig. He bought this pig a few years ago. Her name is Pearl. Here are some pictures, so cute. There he is kissing Pearl. This is a screenshot from the video where he brought Pearl home. Uh, we can throw some clips in here for you guys of him like introducing the pig to the dog. It was a whole ordeal. Pearl became a regular in his vlogs. Here is a tweet from a while ago. I bought Pearl over a year ago. I was told she was a mini pig. She's not. So he got her thinking that she was gonna be one of those, like I think one of the biggest kinds of small pigs is like the Cooney Pooney pigs. Um, that's what my mom used to have. And then. They, you, you get those little like teacup pigs, but there's it's like a normal thing. It's kind of a joke online. Like people are like, oh, I thought this was going to be a tiny pig. And then it ends up being like a literal hog. That is what happened with Pearl. Super cute. Anyway, not long ago, he moved to Puerto Rico, like basically every other crypto type dude in the world. And we have not heard much about Pearl since then until people saw this video, which was posted yesterday. This is from The Gentle Barn. I love pigs, they're so cute. They're also so smart, you can train pigs. So then they said Pearl, which obviously people immediately connected that to Logan Paul. But here's the caption for that video that was posted on Instagram. She'll never be alone again. Pearl was found abandoned in a field next to another pig who had died. She came to us with tattered ears and a potentially life-threatening infection in her uterus that has since been healed. She has clearly been through so much trauma that we can't begin to imagine, but she is now safe with us at the gentle barn. From what we've been told, it is believed that she was purchased originally from a breeder by an influencer. People often buy mini pigs or teacup pigs for clout online, believing that they will stay small. However, they inevitably grow very large and have many unexpected needs, they are sadly discarded. While we don't know everything she's been through in her past, we know her life is now filled with friends, nutritious foods, the highest quality care, and so much love. It's thanks to your support we're able to say yes to rescues like Pearl. Thank you for being part of our work to rescue and rehabilitate animals with nowhere else to go. So like I said, this is from The Gentle Barn. I don't know much about The Gentle Barn other than like I would see ads for them all the time when I lived in LA and my crunchiest veganist friends would go collab with them and go hang out there. But I'm not saying that that is a bad thing at all. I know that they do good work. They are an animal sanctuary and they focus mainly on like livestock and farm animals. They look great. I'm sure they do great work. Anyway, people were quick to connect the dots to Logan Paul. Uh, somebody commented and said, Logan Paul and Chloe Bennett are the names of the YouTubers responsible and they should absolutely be called out. Somebody else said, I hope you guys press charges against the person who dumped the animals and the YouTuber and you should name the YouTuber. Not sure why you're not. It's the right thing to do. People like this need to be held accountable for their abuse and neglect towards animals. Shouldn't have to tell you guys that. It was also big on Twitter. Ethan Klein said, okay, now we can all agree. F Logan Paul and then posted the picture of him with Pearl in the new video. Okay. So you guys all know I love pigs. I said that before. I got my mom a pig for uh, Mother's Day last year. Uh, here is her other pig, Denny. This was me over Christmas. Denny is a huge hog. And he, like I said, they are so smart. They are basically like dogs. Waddles, you genius! Obviously, when I clicked on that trending page expecting to see like some MMA fight that Logan was doing, I was not thrilled about this trending story. But my spidey senses did go up because so many people hate Logan. So this could just be them running with this story it might not have a ton of merit. I don't know. I just wanted to wait and see. But regardless, the tea is piping hot. Specifically, 
the Gold River Tea. Gold River Trading Company is an American company that provides premium alternatives for people who want to enjoy an amazing cup of tea while they read their internet drama. Gold River offers a variety of high quality blends like their 1776 American Breakfast Tea, their Earl Grey Tea. I love making London Fog lattes with this at work. It's the best thing for later in the afternoon. They also have a peppermint green tea and of course an herbal chamomile and their cinnamon spice hot chocolate. All of their beverages are packed and created right here in the USA and all of their teas are in premium non-plastic sachets which allow for a more flavorful and full infusion. This is truly the best way to enjoy a healthy and flavorful beverage from an American company that shares your values because obviously Sometimes the internet tea can be a little bit detrimental to our mental health and our well-being. So sometimes you need a real tea instead. If you want to try out Gold River Trading, go to goldriverco.com slash cooper and get 10% off of your order using my promo code cooper at checkout. Again, that is goldriverco.com slash cooper, promo code cooper at checkout. We can talk about the tea and drink tea at the same time. All right. So now we have some more information. Logan dropped these tweets yesterday afternoon. He said, Pearl was rehomed to an amazing ranch that I visited in Santa Clarita when I moved to Puerto Rico. I was unable to bring her to the island. She lived there happily for 10 months before the owner sold the ranch. She was rehomed without my knowledge to the farmer across the street. As far as I know, the farmer called the gentle barn to pick her up and denies that there was a second pig. Pearl was transferred alone. This is an incredibly heartbreaking situation. I had Pearl for two years. I am beyond thankful to the gentle barn for taking her in. We'll do whatever I need to aid Pearl's care. I don't see anything wrong with this response if this is actually what happened. This seems respectful. He is owning up to the fact that he was not able to take Pearl with him. He rehomed her. He thought he was doing it responsibly. He visited the ranch. He was then rehomed without his knowledge, but he's now being respectful and saying, let me know what I can do. He's not saying, how dare you guys say this about me? It, again, it just, it seems respectful. Uh, he then talked with TMZ and they released this video from an interview. So apparently that that ranch owner moved to Nevada and could not take Pearl with her. So that homeowner or ranch owner gave Pearl to the farmer across the street. And then to my understanding, that farmer called the gentle barn to come pick her up. People figured out it was your pig and then there was all this backlash uh, and people were, because the way that TikTok went out, it did make it seem like you were the person who had abandoned Pearl. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the verbiage they used was uh, she was irresponsibly rehomed. So I, I, the first thing I did was I, I, I checked myself. I, 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 I said, wait a second, was, was she irresponsibly rehomed by me? Absolutely not. She was put in an amazing horse, uh, horse ranch where she lived an amazing life for 10 months. When that homeowner relocated and the pigs sw swiped hands again, it was something that I didn't know was taking place. And apparently that farmer called the gentle barn to come pick her up. I found this out yesterday and I emailed the gentle barn immediately and, and offered to help in any way I could. I cuddled with this pig. I slept with this pig. She was in my life for two to two and a half years. Like, and she lived the best life ever. She was regularly bathed, ate meals that were like gourmet for a pig, had a 30 foot by 50 foot pen, had an apartment of her own. Like I loved this pig. And so yeah, seeing that video was, was heartbreaking to me. I thought her was in a safe, healthy condition and state and when I found out that she was not, and it was, it sucks, man. And I want to do everything I can to help. It's why I emailed the gentle barn. And like, I was going to keep this private, but like social media loves to do what they want and the armchair quarterbacks trying to make assumptions about, about, uh, uh, who I am and how I treat animals. I've grown up with animals my whole life. Um, and, and, and whenever, whenever, if ever they have to be rehomed, I make sure they're in responsible homes that can take care of them accordingly. Now, again, that seems respectful. He is composed. He has handled it properly. He thought he was doing the right thing from what we are seeing. It seems like he was doing the right thing. The gentle barn was definitely trying to put blame on him saying this YouTuber did it. And then the pig was, you know, irresponsibly rehomed from what he is saying. Obviously, he was the YouTuber that bought the pig, but he responsibly rehomed it. The person who he rehomed it to then irresponsibly rehomed it, but there was no nuance in that caption. I can't believe I am like breaking down a whole freaking pig story, but you know what? That's what we do on the show. But people are still not convinced, even though he is doing all of this damage control and he is trying to get in front of the story, people are still making up things. A lot of them are assuming that he rehomed the pig simply because she got so big and they are using that like a viral photo of, like of him saying, oh wow, I thought she was a mini pig. Now she's huge. And they're saying, oh wow, he didn't want to take care of her. He just, you know, threw her away basically like this TikTok. Have you guys heard the news about Logan Paul's pet pig? Basically, he got this pig, Pearl, back in 2019, and she ended up being way bigger than he expected, so he ended up rehoming her. That factually 
is not what happened. He kept her after she got that big. Somebody commented and said, look, I dislike the guy as much as everyone else, but he rehomed her to a farm when he moved to Puerto Rico in 2020 because Puerto Rico does not allow the import of hogs as pets. He thought that she was in good hands. Evidently, she wasn't. It really is not on him. Other people are upset about how he's handling the situation. They're not really caring about, you know, who did what, but this person said something's fishy. Why the f*** did he go to TMZ and not talk to Coffee or hell, Philip DeFranco or even mention it on his Twitter in a video? I think he's trying to get clout out of this somehow. I mean, like he did post about it on Twitter very, very quickly. And then he posted the TMZ video saying, hey, this is what happened. And he apparently sent this letter to the gentle barn. This is what he was referencing in that TMZ video. He said, dear gentle barn, it was just brought to my attention that a pig I owned nearly two years ago, Pearl, was rescued and rehomed by your organization. With every ounce of gratitude I have, thank you. Pearl lived a very happy life in my home in Encino for about two years. She was treated like the princess she is, bathed regularly, ate a variety of healthy meals, roamed the yard, and had a shelter and a pen of her own. I'd even sleep with her sometimes. You'll come to find that she is a very friendly pig and loves to cuddle. When I moved to Puerto Rico in April of 2020, she was unable to come with me, so she was rehomed at a horse ranch in Santa Clarita. From my understanding, she lived fruitfully there for almost 10 months until that homeowner moved as well. Pearl was then rehomed to the farmer across the street with the promise of care. I have heard that they called your organization to pick her up. It is shocking and heartbreaking to hear the state that she was found. I wanted to reach out personally and say thank you for taking her in. For what it's worth, I'd love to send a token of my gratitude to your organization for taking Pearl in and doing something so kind. I thought that she was at a good home, but regardless, she is now and I'd like to contribute to her care again. I can't thank you enough for stepping in. Please let me know how else I can be supportive. Best luck. As a guy that has dealt with his fair share of controversies, especially in his youth, like to put it mildly, I highly doubt that he is trying to get clout while somebody is accusing him of abusing his animal. Like that is backwards, even for like the most strategic PR person. I don't think that this is working in his favor at all, especially while he has another situation going on right now. Like how else would you have wanted him to deal with the situation? Just say nothing and let the internet turn him into a villain yet again, which they do basically every day. Anyway, like moving on, this is all just wild. Logan also posted this like semi-cryptic Andrew Tate style tweet. He said, the matrix is real. Pray you never become its target. Now, I don't really get the Matrix stuff. I've never even watched the movie, but obviously he thinks that he is being targeted. Um, Andrew Tate, though, does not like him. He literally tweeted out afterwards that even in Romanian prison, people think that Logan Paul is a scammer. And then this is an old video about Logan Paul. Very, very clear that Logan Paul is absolutely not really a tool of the Matrix. He's a bought and sold individual with no soul. He doesn't stand up for anything and he doesn't mean anything he says. He gets pieces of paper from Susan or whoever else telling him what he's allowed to say on his channel to retain you believe that. 100% not only do I believe he's proved to himself. He will flip-flop on any issue. He can be bought and sold. The dude's a bitch. Logan Paul is a bitch and I will say that here publicly. Anyone wants to, I'll fight him for free. So I don't know whether he's trying to like latch on to the Andrew Tate thing, but regardless... He thinks that this is not all an innocent situation, I guess. But also, this tweet stood out to me. Ever since you dissed Christianity, things have been upside down. I don't believe that that's a coincidence. And Logan Paul responded and said, me either. Somebody retweeted that and said, just found Logan Paul's next scam, born again, a Christian evangelist. I mean, if he does find religion and come to Christianity, that is going to piss off even more people, which really isn't a bad thing at all. I appreciate when people <laughs> make the internet angry because it provides me with entertainment and it usually screws with their heads. So that's a good thing for everybody. Now, like I said, I didn't grow up watching Logan Paul or Jake Paul. I shouldn't say grow up because they are not much older than me, but they were not part of my adolescence, really. I just, like I said, I just was not an internet kid. But people either like really love them or they hate them. And recently, especially as Logan has spoken out about like politics and his political aspirations, that hate has gotten massive. I mean, it's just food for thought. I don't think this is as big of a deal as the rest of the internet is making it out to be. Thank you for watching the comment section. If you want to see more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, like this video, and of course, if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I'm Brett Cooper. See you next time.